Ghana's Vice President Mohamed Dubawumia is currently on an official visit to China and has held talks with the chairman of the CPPCC, Yu Shengshen, and Vice President Li Yuan Chao. CGTN's foreign affairs reporter Su Yu Ting sat down with Vice President Bawumia to hear his insights on China Ghana relations. You have already led a very high level delegation, which is, consists of uh, many ministers, including the ministers of the railway sector, the ministers of trade and industry, and also senior minister. Your visit is the first official one uh, by the Ghanaian leadership since the uh, new government was formed. Uh, at the beginning of this year. So what do you aim to achieve? We've had a very big uh, delegation and a very important delegation. Various ministers are here uh, and that only tells you uh, the seriousness with which we are taking our relationship with China. Ghana and China have had very close uh, diplomatic relations um, since the 1960s and basically uh, this visit is to help cement the friendship uh, between the people of Ghana and the people of China. A new government in Ghana, uh, the president of Ghana, Nanado Dankwa Kofuado, was elected six months ago. Um, and uh, we want to um, deepen the relations with our friends. He has a very clear vision for the economy. Uh, and that economic transformation in Ghana, we want our partners and our friends uh, to be supportive. Ghana is among the first group of sub-Saharan African country that established diplomatic relations with China. How do you see the development of bilateral ties between our two countries? Ghana and China have had very close uh, diplomatic relations um, since the 1960s. Today, um, China is Ghana's largest trading partner in terms of country by country, in terms of trade, in terms of foreign direct investment. As we said that we want to build a relationship not based on aid. We want to move Ghana beyond aid. We want to work hard ourselves to bring our economy up. But we need support in terms of investment and in terms of trade. So we want to have a mutually beneficial relationship between Ghana and China. You have also said that Ghana is willing to cooperate with China, especially in the Belt and Road Initiative. Yes. So could you please tell us what kind of measures will Ghana take to strengthen cooperation in industrial capacity and also infrastructure construction? Yes, I think that uh, the Belt and Road Initiative that President Xi Jinping has brought uh, onto the global scene. Well, it's a new type of globalization, uh, and I think uh, China is taking leadership in this area, and Ghana uh, wants to be a part of this initiative. We have an initiative that we call One District, One Factory, so that every district can think about adding value. This is private sector driven uh, initiative, so that we want the private sector to think about various factories that they can set using the raw materials in their particular districts to add value to them and find a market for them. And we believe that. Uh, being part of the Belt and Road Initiative will enhance the productive capacity. But we also have a lot to do in the area of infrastructure, in the energy sector, the road sector, the railway sector, because Ghana has a lot of minerals, for example, and we need good infrastructure to be able to bring out these minerals uh, for the good of the economy. Um, and, and so we believe that if we put in the business environment and enhance infrastructure, enhance agriculture and, and, and industrialization, we will be right in the middle of the objectives of the Belt and Road Initiative.